This is obviously not sponsored. I've got like 52 subscribers. <laughs> Would you believe this? It's 8 a.m. and I'm already properly dressed, which I feel like is something special considering we're in quarantine. So I'm just gonna make myself a couple of eggs for breakfast. I used to scramble them, but I think boiling them is probably a bit healthier. I don't know. But that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm probably gonna go for a walk. And I'm really excited about my lunch today because mum called me yesterday when she was walking to the shops and asked me if I wanted anything. So I asked for potatoes. I've got those. So I'm, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys a salad before. I think I talked about it in one of my other videos. But I make a really good salad with potatoes, um, spinach, red onion, but I'm going to use onion this time. And what else? Oh yeah, feta. Oh, I need more feta. That's right. We don't have any more. And then this really nice dressing that I put on it. It's just balsamic. I'm not even sure what's in it. It just says that it's a classic dressing if you use a blend of balsamic vinegar and herbs. So it's really, really good though. So that's what I'm doing today. Got my eggs. No, there's only one more, so I think I don't want to just do that one as well. And we're officially out of eggs, though I feel like we always have so many eggs. I don't know how well you can see me. But yeah, we usually have like so many eggs. We keep buying more, but now we're officially out. This is a really awkward angle, but it's a good workout because I'm squatting to talk to you. <laughs> My hair has been growing so much. Like it's quite long now and it's really healthy as well. I'm really happy with how healthy it is. I've been washing it twice a week. And I'm gonna, I was looking at old photos and I found one from two years ago. My hair is so much longer than it was, so I will put that photo in here because I want you guys to see how much my hair has grown in. I don't know if it's been quite two years, but I think it's close enough to two years, so I'll put that in. Eggs are bubbling away. Avocado is spread. So I know I said that we don't have feta, but we have the tiniest bit. So I'm going to use the rest of that and get some more for my salad because I need feta. I need feta on my salad. The sourness of it is just perfect and it goes so well with everything else inside, especially this dressing. So, yeah. Such a sad little amount of fitness. I'll show on that one, but I will. Eggs are done, nice and runny like I like them. I made one for Mama, she loved it. Now I'm gonna cut them. Oh, yeah, that's exactly how I like them. I'm not sure how I want to cut them, but you know, that'll do. Oh, you see that? That's the best way to have egg, I reckon. Comment down below how you like your eggs, because I don't know, I just really like them like that. I'm just gonna, I don't really know how to, I never know how to cut. I had the same thing yesterday for lunch, and I just find cutting it really awkward, but hey, that's alright. And that is my yummy breakfast. Now, Henry wants to go out, so I gotta deal with him. Dinner, lunch, I mean, is on the move. So I'm waiting for my potatoes to boil and I thought I would show you something that I got from the Isle of Shame at Aldi. Also, they have really cool stuff at the moment. They have a calligraphy set, other really cool colouring in books, but I decided not to get one because I've already got a few, a couple of them. So, But I did decide to get this one because I have been looking for a colour by number for so long. This was only five bucks, as you can see, and it does say for kids, but I mean... It's not really that kitty, like it's a normal colour in, colour by number book. And yeah, like I said, I've been looking for one for a long time. And as you will have seen in my last video, I have a lot of colour by number apps on my phone, but I really like actually colouring in. So I haven't actually been using those colour in apps quite as much, but that's because I have so many like TV apps. So I've been watching a lot of MasterChef, I've been watching a lot of um, House Husbands, Dine oh, I've finished. I'm up to date with Dynasty. I'm waiting for season three to come into Netflix, but I believe that's this month. So, but yeah, I've been watching a lot of TV. 
and YouTube. Jess fam, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm glad to have this because I love colouring it in person. Guess what? This is a flamingo. Speaking of flamingos, they had flamingo and tropical wrapping paper at um, Aldi and I came this close to getting it and I was like, nah, I love flamingos too much. If I get flamingo wrapping paper, I'm never going to give it away. I'm never going to use it because I just love flamingos. So it would be perfect if someone else bought it and used it for me, but me buying it is just kind of pointless. But I could have still bought it. Like, I was with my dad, so he would have bought it. And yeah, it was like $2 for a whole lot of wrapping paper. That's why I love Aldi. It's so cheap. Like, this would have been more expensive somewhere else, I reckon. But I'm super keen to get into it. Because you've got these leaves, and they are my absolute favourite. This is my salad. I've actually already eaten a fair bit of it. And it doesn't look as appealing as it did when I first um, put it in the bowl. Just because I think of the colour of the dressing. Like, it's a very kind of brownie, murky kind of colour, and it's just not very visually appealing, at least not when, you fit, when you've when you mixed it all around. But yeah, I've basically been stirring the bowl around and everything, trying to get a bit of everything. And I thought I had a whole bunch of spinach in there, but I've actually nearly run out of spinach. And also, five potatoes was too much, even though they are baby potatoes, they were really small. I still think that three would have been perfectly fine. Because I put everything in, I put all the potato in the bowl, I'm like, oh crap, I can't even stir this, it's so full. But I managed to. And it's really good. Excuse me while I talk in MasterChef terms, but the flavours blend so well together. And it's a cracking dish, as they would say on MasterChef. And not cracking is in MasterChef level cracking, but it's pretty good in my humble opinion. It's a very simple salad. Like, it's not really a lot of effort, but it's quite nice. And I really like it with the brown onion. Also, something that I wanted to mention about the cracking dish thing is I joined a MasterChef Australia Facebook group and one of the posts was something like those things you see where it's take a shot every time someone does this, finish your drink if someone does this, like in a show or a movie. And one of them was take a shot every time Andy says that's a cracking dish because he says that a lot. And there was another one, it was like finish your drink if someone starts talking about family and getting sentimental. And I'm like, that would probably be me if I was ever a master chef. I feel like I'm talking too much, but I just want to say one last thing. It's like I don't ever think I could go on master chef. Because it just stresses me out so much. And I can't even imagine how I would get to that level of being that good. That I could even go on MasterChef. Like, I'm an okay cook. But they just see ingredients and they just know what to make. And I look at the ingredients on the show. I'm like, I have literally zero idea of what I would make if I was in the MasterChef kitchen right now. So, and then there are people my age competing on the show and they go really far. Like, people 21 and under. They make it into, like, the top 12. I'm like, oh, man. I'm not that good. Anyway, I'm going to eat the salad and let you guys go. Bye. 12 seconds later. Okay, so I'm aware that you can't see me properly, but I just wanted to film this because it's part of my life, so why not? So I don't know if you can see actually what I'm doing at the moment, but this is an exercise that I'm skipping for my shoulders because I need to change the resistance on that. Um, yeah, so if anyone knows me, they'll know that I have really dodgy joints. Oh my god, seriously, this is not working out for me right now. There we go. I needed more stretch on it. Yeah, so I was given this exercise for my shoulders because it's one of my many crappy joints. So I just thought I would show you guys because I've never really shown me doing this. I used to have physio for my knees, which mostly consisted of um, like weight machines at the gym or whatever, but I'm, don't, I'm not going to the gym at the moment, obviously since they're not open. I haven't actually gone since my surgery. Oh, that's enough, gee. So, yeah. And I could still be doing that knee physio. Like, it wasn't just because I was recovering from surgery. It was also to help my other knee, which is really dodgy. Like, I've been limping a lot lately because of my left knee. My dad has noticed it. And I go on a walk for like 20 minutes. And, no, more like the 15 minute mark, maybe even less than that, that my knee will start hurting. So that's not fun. So hopefully I don't have to have surgery for that. I hate talking when you can't see me. I just feel like it's really awkward. I need to do it with my right arm the other way because it's just... I can't explain it, but it just feels like it's giving me more of a workout when I go the other way rather than pulling it that way. So I'm going to go on a walk soon and I'll see you guys later. You guys, I had the most amazing dinner. I didn't take a clip, but it was sweet potato burritos. And I put um, onion that I fried up. What was it? Oh yeah, spinach and a three blend cheese that our supermarket has. So it's like a Mexican three blend cheese. So it's a little bit spicy. 
and it's really nice. So what I did is I roasted the sweet potato with a bit of oil over the top, salt, cumin and some of the burrito seasoning from the burrito pack. And then I kind of just uh, mashed up the sweet potato with my fork and then I added everything together and that was it. I did buy a can of black beans to add but I completely forgot about the black beans. The thing is though, it was hard enough to fold up as it was because there was so much in it. But I could have like spread it more lengthwise rather than stacking up so that was probably part of the reason. So I could have fit in the um, black beans if I wanted to but yeah, I just, I just forgot. Anyway, I have Cub Scouts in half an hour. I don't have to run it tonight, thank god. Ooh. My friend texts me every... Grace, if you're watching this, hi! My friend texts me every night asking me if I'm watching MasterChef and most weeknights I have scout equipment so I can't, but I watch it after. So tonight I can't watch it obviously because it starts... I might... I think I might be able to jump in maybe 10 minutes after because MasterChef starts at 7.30 and my thing starts at 7 and we generally are going about half an hour, 40 minutes online. Because we can't keep their attention for an hour and a half online. We just can't do it. And I don't think the leaders want to, to be honest. Or at least I don't. So, it's just not the same as in person. Like, we are trying to act like it is, but it's just not. It's not the same. So, I've got that tonight. I may watch MasterChef. But yeah, this is what I've been up to. And this is probably what I'm going to keep doing. That's a clean tissue. <laughs> yeah, this is just what I'm going to keep on doing. I haven't got the colours quite right. Ooh, my camera's about to die. But, um, you know, I'm trying. Also, if you can guess what this is, comment down below before you watch the end of this video. Because I'll, I'll probably finish it by the end of this video and I'll show you. But yeah, I really like it. Tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. I'm not up quite as early as I was yesterday, but it is only 10.30. So that's not too bad. I don't know if I'm going to go on a walk right away, but I actually am a little bit hungry. So I think I might boil myself a couple of eggs. I think I'm going to have the sweet potato burritos again for lunch because they were really really good as I said yesterday so yeah I think I will do that again and I'm thinking of a shepherd's pie for dinner because I've got mock mint in the freezer I've got potatoes or you know I've got mix to make mashed potatoes but I think that's something that I would like to do for dinner I thought about it for lunch I'm like it sounds a little bit heavy to have for lunch for me personally like I think I've talked about this before but I just can't really eat a lot for lunch it just has to be something light so I think the burritos will be perfect. But they were perfect for dinner last night. Oh, they were so good. And this time I think I'll actually remember to put the black beans in. So, I, this is something else I wanted to talk about. Is I have been using this product for years. And honestly, it is so good. This is obviously not sponsored. I've got like 52 subscribers. But, yeah. So, I don't even remember. I think, oh, that's right. It came in a pack of three at Aldi. See, I've been using this for years, obviously different bottles and stuff, but I haven't used it in quite a while. And I used it this morning. I put it on before my shower and then I like kind of washed my face afterwards. And oh my god, my face feels so fresh right now. Like I feel so, I can't explain it, but it just feels so good on my skin. And it helps prevent oily shine and pimples and it doesn't clog your pores. It's really good stuff. Like, I highly recommend this brand. I'm definitely going to have to see where I can get some more because they don't always have the same stuff in the LD Isle of Shame, as I call it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to look into getting more. And they've also got a toner and a moisturizer, but I think I used all of those but didn't finish this one. I, I don't know. But, yeah, I can't even tell you how good my face feels right now. It's incredible. Like, I just feel completely refreshed. I'm definitely going to have to get more of this and use it every day because that's incredible. I need to make that part of my daily routine. So there's a thing on my camera where it tells you how much recording time you've got left. And after this clip, I've got like three minutes left. So I better go. The boys. Hey, boys. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> you just got to look at the other direction. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, mister? I am facing a little bit of a dilemma. It's not like a huge one, but so it's about storage and old videos. So I have a lot of storage on this computer, but the thing is it won't last forever. And I have a lot of old footage dating back to when I started my vlogging on my YouTube channel, which was October 2018. So, you know, about a year and a half, I've got quite a bit of footage stacked up. And I've been thinking about what to do with footage that I don't really need 
Like, I'm going to keep all of my footage from when I went to nice places because I just want to. Like, that footage has to stay. But I have a lot of clips like this where I'm just talking. And I'm just not sure whether I want to keep those. But I was thinking about it and I'm like, what I was talking about may seem meaningless now. But at the time it wasn't. And even if it's in the video and it's been edited, I still just don't feel like deleting it. Because I'm just watching an old video where I'm talking and I'm like, that wasn't meaningless to me at the time. So that's part of the reason that I don't really want to delete old footage. But it takes up a lot of space. Not a lot of space. And I think I am going to buy a 5TB hard drive, 5TB hard drive, when I go away next year. You know, I'm, I'm not going to Europe anymore, like, as my free tour, but I will be going to London, to Ireland, Scotland, and then I'll be going to Spain, Morocco, and Portugal. So that's going to be my holiday. So I think I'm going to need a lot of storage for that. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about my little dilemma, and I'm like... I just, I don't know. Like, it just seems bad deleting this stuff, you know? I do want to have clips to look back on, like, when I'm older and, like, how I talked, what I talked about, what was important to me. Like, that's kind of why I want to keep these. But at the same time, it's in the videos. And do I need to keep the individual clips? I just don't know. But I feel weird permanently deleting it. Like, it's gone. And if something ever happens to the original video, which I doubt it will because it's on the computer... Like, I mean, the edit, the full edited video. Like, if something ever happened to it, I, I don't know. I'd feel really bad knowing that I don't have the footage at all anymore. But yeah, I think it will be nice to look back in 20 years and be like, this was what I was like. But also, it's in the video. So, do I want to keep the individual clips? Like, this one here, I'm just talking about my beach day or something like that. And I just don't know if that's something that I want to keep. I'll just give it more thought, but... I probably will keep all the footage. If it's me just talking about something that's just completely irrelevant, then yeah, I'll probably delete it. But I just don't feel good about deleting all the footage because it's been such a journey and this is my life, you know, and even if I am talking about stuff that's not like overly important, it's st it still was important to me at one point, like I said, so I don't, yeah, I'm just going to start getting repetitive now. So I am actually think I'm actually going to go make my burritos for lunch. I was going to boil myself some eggs, but then I wasn't really hungry. And now it's 11.30, it's going to be lunchtime soon anyway, so... I mean, if I'd had those eggs for breakfast, I probably would have had lunch a little bit later. See, this is the kind of stuff that I feel like I should just delete. It's just me talking about what I'm going to have for lunch. Like, I think I should get rid of that stuff. But if I am talking about something that makes me happy, I think I will leave it. What's up, guys? It's been quite a while since I talked to you. I haven't talking to you, spoken to you guys since I had my lunch. So, I just had my dinner. My dad went to pick up some food from this restaurant, like, five minutes from our house. It's called Arco Bar, and he sent us the menu. Because I said, I initially sent a message saying, like, what should I make tonight? I was thinking shepherd's pie, or should I save that for Mother's Day, which is Sunday, two days away. And then my dad was like, oh, I was thinking of getting food from this place. So he asked us what we wanted. I ordered the vegan curry. My mom actually ended up getting the same thing. It was very spicy, but very good. And it had lentils. Mmm. Yeah, extremely spicy, so I had some of that. I didn't eat all of it because it's actually a two-person serve. And then we got some rice with it as well, which was really, really good. It was amazing rice. I don't know what was so nice about it, but there was just something. Something about it that I really liked. It reminds me, reminded me of rice pilaf, kind of, which is a dish I learned to make when I was doing basic cookery classes at William Angles. Hey, guys. This I'm just going to end this video here. This is a little while later. I'm wearing different clothes, so... Yeah, this is a little while later, but I'm ending this video now. If you guys could do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up down below, then that would be really good because that really helps me out. It kind of pushes me out more into the algorithm, and I just kind of need YouTube to start pushing my videos out more. So if you could do me that really simple favor and like this video, that would be fantastic. Thank you. And if you're not subscribed, please do, and leave a comment saying something that you liked about this video. Bye, guys.